What's up guys, welcome back. I completed this Infinity Force recently for a client. I tried to cram quite a lot of detail into them and I think they turned out pretty decent. The main camouflage pattern was done by first basing in Vallejo Khaki mixed with a small amount of scale colour field grey. Then I built up the pattern by breaking it up into four easy to paint shapes. So first I used a single line, a double line, a dot and a random splodge. I applied these first with Games Workshop Lauren Forest, painting the four shapes randomly over the whole surface. Next I used Scale Colour Brown Leather and I did exactly the same process, this time making the four shapes slightly smaller and allowing them to partially cover some of the green from the first step. Once that was complete I used some Scale Colour Birch and painted on little dots here and there over the surface. The last step was to apply a simple wash using a one to one mix of Army Painter Strong Tone and Soft Tone. For the armour plates I based in Vallejo Khaki and the first highlight was made by applying a 1 to 1 mix of Vallejo Khaki and Scale Colour Mojave White. A second highlight was then applied with Mojave White just on its own. Once I was happy with the highlights, the shadows were done with Vallejo Armour Brown which I applied as a glaze building up the colour over several layers. To add a bit of extra interest I made some scratches by painting on ragged lines and dots with Armour Brown and then I highlighted the lower edge of each of these with some Mojave White. The blue metal was painted by first basing in Vallejo Black, then I applied an initial highlight of Scale Colour Caspian Blue which I just blocked in without any blending. This was blended out by glazing up to the transition with a 1 to 1 mix of Caspian Blue and Black. The highlights were then built up by first applying Scale Colour Bearing Blue and then mixing a fair amount of white to the Bearing Blue before finishing off with lots of little pure white highlights. The lighter metal parts were done by basing in Scale Colour Eclipse Grey and then simply building up the highlights by adding progressive amounts of white to the base colour. For the skin I tried to alter the tone on each model so that they would each have their own unique look. I did this by essentially making small variations to the base colour. So to start off I would add a small amount of Screamer Pink to Fantasy and Games Resurrection Flesh. And then for the male characters only I would add one of the following. Either a little scale colour graphite, a bit of Caspian Blue or some Field Grey. Highlights were then built up by using either Scale Colour Light Skin or Vallejo Ivory. I then applied shadows by glazing and I did this by adding either a little bit of Caspian Blue to the base colour and glazing that into the shadows or by glazing with just some thinned down Vallejo Armour Brown. Note that I only added extra shading to the male characters. The female skin was done with only base colour and highlights. These green parts were based first in scale colour boreal green, then I highlighted up by adding progressive amounts of sol yellow to the green before glazing with a little bit of Vallejo Armour Brown into the shadows. I find that that really helps to intensify the highlights. For the light here on the bike I also added some white into the highlight mix just for the last couple of layers to help get that nice glow effect. This yellow here was based in Games Workshop Avalon Sunset. Then I mixed a little white into the yellow for the highlights before using some thinned down Vallejo Armour Brown to build up the shadows. The biker's hair was first based in scale colour Dubai Brown, then I painted the individual hairs with P3 Rucksack Tan. Highlights were then built up by gradually mixing some Vallejo Ivory into the Rucksack Tan. The pink hair was based in scale colour Fuchsia, then I mixed in progressive amounts of Vallejo Ivory to build up the highlights. To finish off I picked out a few shadows here and there with some scale colour Violet. The grey hair was based in scale colour Graphite, then highlights were stippled on by mixing more and more Vallejo Ivory into the base colour. For the General's jacket I started off with Games Workshop Strachan Green, then highlights were layered up by adding Vallejo Ivory to the green before applying shading with some Armour Brown glazes. The military ribbons on his chest were first blocked in with Armour Brown, then I picked out the raised surfaces with Ivory and coloured them by using a random selection of paints that I used elsewhere on the models, so Boreal Green, Lauren Forest, Caspian Blue, etc. The bases were wet blended over a black and white zenithal foundation using Games Workshop's Greg Brown and Tau Light Ochre. Extra shading was then added with some army paint 
paint or strong tone. I go over this process in detail on a separate video. If you haven't already seen it, you can find a link to it in the description box below. To do the sandy mud effect on the boots and tires, I simply painted the area black and then I made a glaze with scrag brown by adding a few drops of water to it and then I applied the glaze quite thickly, using it just like a wash covering the whole surface of the boots and tires. When it dries out, it gives you this really nice convincing dried mud effect. I think it's a nice finishing touch, plus it saves you from having to highlight all that black. Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure that covers it. If I've missed something or you're not clear on anything, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. A massive thank you to all my patrons who continue to help fund the creation of these videos. If you're awesome as well and would like to help support my work, you can do so by clicking the link in the description box below and signing up to my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Thanks again. Bye for now. Music